Sony has openly admitted that they are more focused on getting and pleasing AAA publishers and that they are tossing indie developers to the side. They of course have proven this by censoring their games, changing their policies, and not being clear to the developers of what their policies are, not telling them guideline restrictions, as well as dropping any showcases of independent developers when their c competition has, and they have admitted it now that they do not care about these developers. Sony is concentrating its attention on large software publishers as it gets ready for the next PlayStation, according to executives at Sony and software makers. In general, publishers want their games on multiple platforms to maximize sales, while console makers look to make deals for exclusive content or an initial period of exclusive sales. Some executives at smaller game makers say that they have felt snubbed by Sony in contrast to Nintendo. At the Tokyo Game Show in September, Sony is supporting events to showcase independent game developers. Sony used to do the same, but is not planning to this year, the first Sony official said. Sony still welcomes games from independent studios, the first Sony official said, but the emphasis is on strengthening relationship with large publishers since resources are limited. The thinking is, the official said, that people buy a console to play high quality games available only to that platform, not smaller games also available on smartphones. I know that Sony is feeling pretty damn high and mighty right now and like they do not need anyone smaller than them. They have had one of the most successful mass market products of the past quarter century. The PlayStation name is huge and they have the PlayStation 4 which is going to surpass 100 million units this year. But they've also had very harsh fails, like the PlayStation 3 that had one of the worst launches of a PlayStation named product. Did they forget about that? In their smugness, they've made a lot of bad statements. They are pretty notorious at this point for bad statements and decisions, or that's what I think of when I really think deeply about PlayStation and Sony. I mean, we have them now giving less support to smaller developers over games. They've been very censorship heavy in the past about year and a half, and they've said that they are monitoring content that needs to fit into world standards, yet they have no standards and they have not specified what the standards are that they are referring to. This really reminds me of the cockiness with the PlayStation 3 release and how it got pummeled pummeled by the Xbox 360 and then they said, well, we underestimated the co how the competition would turn out. This new decision on ignoring smaller developers seems like another move that is going to bite them in the ass, just like when they said that people did not like to play old games. Remember that, Sony? But now we have the PlayStation Classic, even though people don't like to play those games. And Sony, just so you know, it's $20 now, not because people do not like to play older games. It's because you put the worst of the worst games on there, minus Final Fantasy VII, Metal Gear Solid, Revelations Persona, um, Resident Evil Director's Cut, and Twisted Metal. Five games. Five games were good out of 20. The other 15 are pretty pathetic in my opinion. And it is true that Sony has stopped supporting developers like they used to. At the Tokyo Game Show in September, Nintendo is supporting events um, to showcase independent game developers. And Sony used to do the same exact thing, but is not planning to this year. Which seems like another bad decision to me. If your competition is doing the same exact thing, why decide to change your mind and not partake in a showcase of developers? They are not even trying at this point to make it look like they care about these people and these companies anymore. At least they used to do that. They used to put on this fake face and this double face that they used to act like they cared. And now they just do not even attempt to act like they care. It was also said that Sony is looking to make more big budget games in its in-house software studios, which already produce the exclusive PlayStation games, put more on the radar, and of course that means all of their budget will go to said games. Sony, you do not need to snub and drop support for indie studios. There's different gaming markets within gaming, and they are all just as important as each other. And the fact that they cannot see that this is yet another addition to their short-sighted decisions among many that they've made astounds me. 
They are underestimating how large of a market indie games actually have and how popular indie games have gotten just within the past few years. Look at something like Stardew Valley that was created by an indie game designer. Look at Baba Is You that has a 10 out of 10 rating on almost every website that reviewed it. Why do they think that it is a good idea to ignore these developers? A lot of people are responding to this by saying having less variety of games is going to push people towards other platforms like the Switch, which is a great system, and if I did not own a Switch, at this point I would go out and buy a Nintendo Switch right now. Nintendo has not always had the best reputation. In the past, they have gone down the path of censorship themselves, which is another Sony issue to add to the growing list. But they have put in the effort to make a console they view is for everyone, even if it is not a powerhouse compared to the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X. They've made a decision to stand by what the ESRB says and the parental controls they have and to not tell artists and developers what they should and what they should not have in their games. I honestly do not know where this decision is coming from. I understand that they really want to put a lot of their budget towards exclusive games and they want to put a lot of their effort towards AAA developers, which is all understandable, but they have to consider a console will never exist on a handful of games, and if they get rid of all of the indie games and most of those indie developers, their console or their next generation console is going to look very, very bare bones. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. And of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either which way. Make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy. But I hope that you did. And I will talk to you guys again in the next video really soon.